Hello, through the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Rainbow the Lost Chapters. Now, I have to explain something. I was going to go to the arena, and I did off screen. Uh, I actually had to record even if I cut it out. And I got slaughtered. Really, really slaughtered. And all of the money that I won. I ended up buying uh, potions and stuff to get me through the next section, help me survive the next section of the arena, and that was after buying uh, better weapons that were recommended to me online by other people who played the game. So I'm not going to be showing that. Instead of that, I will be tackling some more side quests and tackling some more quest cards to make my character stronger and get some more stuff that's going to be useful like uh, magic potions that can affect several enemies that, that wants magic uh, things, spells I guess, that can affect more than one person at once. And that's also the reason why there's such an abrupt cut off of the previous episode, episode 16, at the end, which is I wanted to cut out the bit where uh, you see me being slaughtered or the arena, because there's no point in that. You will see me fight at the arena, it will just be later on in the game than uh, I thought it would be. So I want to just show off the uh, things that I've uh, I've got here. Um, as I said, I bought a couple of useful things. So the first thing I bought was the steel great axe, which makes me slower, but is also quite useful. Also discovered that there's a lightweight sword that I could have been using all this time instead of the Matsui Gaian long sword, but I haven't been. And this sword allows me to be powerful but quick, and the sword, this uh, axe allows me to be even more powerful but slow. And the other thing that I got was the ebony longbow, which is much, much better at throwing long distance. So I'm just going to quickly show those off for you, if I were using this. You can see that it does that. If I was using this... And... There we go. So now I'm going to go back uh, to the guild and see if I can get another quest. Uh, so I might cut out uh, my travelling. But that's just the way things are going to go. You know, you get into this situation where you don't really know what you're doing because, of course, um, you've not really played the game before and um, when you start recording, sometimes this ends up happening and that's that. So... Let's see what other quest cards are available. One thing I found out that's useful for the arena, and I don't have it yet, is spells that can affect a lot of enemies at once. And I don't have any decent spells. So, so you can see how how uh, how uh, large the axe is, though. He's sort of weighted down by it. Let's look at what the boasts are. <clears throat> uh, I, I still have a touch of uh, everything, as far as I can tell. Alright, well let's try this, and if I don't get the bows, screw it, I don't get the bows. Uh, uh, 
So that's uh go for this. Kind of Russ hadn't taken the arena quest now because I'm not sure that it's going to make this my main quest or if it's going to be annoying about it. <clears throat> So I might as well talk about the arena, at least, before I go there. So yes, the arena, you'll fight various sort of waves of enemies, so you'll fight a whole load of wasps, and then and you'll fight a whole load of bandits, and you'll fight a whole load of various other things, hobs included. And, um, as I said, I wasn't very good at it. And eventually, Whisper will help you. Um, as I see, she does okay up until the, uh, I think it's round six or seven, where you have to start fighting trolls. But she is utterly terrible at fighting trolls, it has to be said. So. I guess I'm going to have to wait until morning before this happens. So whilst I'm here... Gold is always useful. I'm gonna need that. Actually, I'm gonna go away and check something. Since I'm here with nothing to do. There's something that I think I may have forgotten. If I haven't forgotten it, I'm probably not going to include it. But... Okay, so it looks like I can't do what I was going to do without leaving the quest. So instead, I might as well engage in some fishing. Well, I mean, fish isn't that great. I suppose I can eat it. You might be wondering why I don't use expressions that much. The truth is, I've always found them to be a slightly silly addition to the Fable universe. Unless they're actually uh, helpful in some way. Being able to do uh, that, for example, I don't see the point. It's it just looks silly. James, is that you? Oh, James is my grandson. You have to find him. He's the only relative I have left. Such a sweet, helpful boy. I don't know how I'd manage without him. I knew this would happen. He's gone back to those Caves. I just know. He got quite a scare with the things he saw down there last time, I can tell you. But he did bring back some gold. Oh, and he found something else while he was there. I don't know what it's for, but it might be useful. Here. It has a very quiet voice. Please. 
please find him. I don't know what I would do if anything happened to him. Well, it seems sometimes you can knock on people's doors by pressing the M button. Or whatever button it is you have to um, interact. keep on showing that because I rather stupidly um left it. Somebody get me out of here I suppose As you can see, I'm still not good at blocking, and these things unfortunately tend to attack you in groups. This is quite annoying because it means it's fairly easy for you, if you're not good at blocking, to get hit by them. I have no idea what he just said, but fair enough. But the great thing about the axe is it can sort of twirl around and get several enemies at once. I pass. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming, mate. I'm coming. Trust me. Not in a sight so kind of coming way. Obvious. Why did I say that? Serious. Why? Hobbs are annoying, not because one single hob is powerful, but because I'm impatient and because even when you do manage to block them, one of the other ones attacks you. So, my style of combat is not good against them. Probably close as I can dig here. It's probably better when you get me out of here. Sounds like it's through there. Probably better when you're fighting hogs to just use magic against them. <clears throat> Is it here that you are in? I just sort of move around, so I can't get you, but I suppose I'll go right and keep magicking them. If magicking is a word, it might not be. Please let me out! 
You do realise that once I let you out, things will actually get worse for you because right now in that thing, you're actually Thanks, relatively safe. It's rather embarrassing getting caught by those orbs. Me and the lads were searching the case for treasure. Legends say it's full of their stuff. Well protected too. They caught us and stuck us in cages. Been taking us away one by one ever since. I don't know what they did to the rest, but I heard screams that it chill your blood. But hey, less people, bigger share, right? <laughs> so, what you say we go looking together? Since I have to go through the cobs anyway. Cobs. Yes, that's what they're called. Obviously. Cobs. Actually, no. I'm here looking for someone's grandson, and I don't really trust this guy because he might decide that actually he'd rather kill me to get a bigger share, and I don't know if he's gonna go one way and the grandson is somewhere else. So, no. You know what though, it's gonna just keep on draining my magic power for a little while and that's annoying. Well, I suppose at least I've got it to attack these cobs who are annoying purely because there are so many of them and They always attack in groups. Still, if I get lots of magic power, that's One hub is not uh, difficult to destroy, fortunately. Oh, that was idiotic of me. Well, apparently that is what happens when you destroy a, a explosive that's very obviously an explosive because it has a sign for explosive on it. I could, of course, try a smaller weapon. But the reason I'm not going to do that is because three more of them are coming up. Is because I can't swing a smaller weapon around the way I can do with this. Well, I guess I can't do it right now. Now, I was trying to use a spade, if you don't mind. Oh well, looks like I can't buy one here. Uh, buy one. I keep on getting words confused. That's blue, which is suggesting that I'm not really allowed to open that. 
and go out and carrying some uh, badness. Let's see. Continue. I'll probably cut out some of this fighting. I really don't have a lot to say whilst I'm fighting these things. Besides, where it's that was the wrong way to go anyway. I obviously got confused there. That's this way I think I need to go. For some reason I don't like the sound of this tunnel being moonlit. I'm not quite sure why. It's not, it's not actually moonlit, is it? I mean, they've just given it a romantic name for some reason. Seems rather strange for Hobbs. They don't strike me as being particularly interested in romantic things. Well, they've, they've gotten that, as you can see. I wish I could attack the hobs from far away, but it doesn't seem that easy to do. <laughs> what do you want? You wish to take the child? I will not give him up. The sacrifice must proceed. Provide an alternative human and I may release him. <laughs> what? Oh. Here. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to try to destroy this thing. I didn't want to do it. She made me. <laughs> hey, get me out of here! I'm not sure there's actually anything I can do. Um, I didn't want to do it. She made me. I suppose I can try attacking it from afar. So, um, apart from that. Sadly, I don't think I can actually defeat this thing. Ah, that was quite helpful. <laughs> now I see what she's doing. I see how you're supposed to do this. It's a bit like any of the other fairies, really. You just have to attack her from afar, I suppose. However, as, as far as I know, she can just keep on making hobs for as long as she wants. Hobs! Hobs! They're called hobs! Stop calling them cobs! They're not called cobs, for heck's sake!
No, I'm gonna hope that, alright, for starters I'm gonna hope that I can do a proper save here. But the odds are good that I can't. No, it's zero save. But I might as well do this zero save because, well, I'm in the middle of doing it now, so. Uh, I'm hoping that he will, he will be okay if I just leave him in this room. Because, um, otherwise I'm going to <coughs> Uh, I'm hoping he will still be there, and I can now take him through to here. And that when I go back in there, the hubs will not be... There'll be no more hubs. Wait. Follow. Come on, come on. Please don't annoy me, kid. We have to get out of this place. Did you kill all the hobs? This place was full of them. I killed a lot of them. It's the last time I let her order me about. I'll tell you that now. Oh well, that's the end of that uh, extra stuff I could have get, gotten from both. But as long as the kids do alive, then. I probably failed the mission now. Okay, I think I've um I'm actually uh back now. I think I'm I'm actually doing okay here. Uh it appears that the hogs don't really attack him unless they spot him. So that's uh, that's quite helpful. So if you sort of go forwards in the cave as much as you can, it does look like they will ignore you, uh, uh, ignore him rather, and go for you. So I might also be able to get that guy with an arrow. But, uh, yes, as far as I can tell. Uh, again, I've lost the boast, unfortunately. But, never mind. Uh, I think we're we'll probably home free here. He's got about half damage, but he hasn't had full damage, and that's good enough for me. Wait. Oh, follow. Well, I guess he started automatically following me um, once I uh, killed all the hobs, so I guess that's it. I'm not going to bother going in these other places to get the extra treasure this time, because I've already shown Help! that off to you. And it's just that guy in there 
Oh, I don't really want to rescue. And it just seems so pointless. Uh, maybe I'll just go more slowly. Yeah, I guess I need to go more slowly. Wait. Come on! Follow. Go for it! Come on! Wait. Follow. Come on. Um, are you following me or not, mate? Wait. Follow. Well, let's try it anyway and see what happens. Do please follow me. I would hate to lose this mission simply because I went to the entrance and there was a weird thing where you were ignoring me. Please tell me that he's still following me, please. Oh right, he's still following me. Oh, I thought I'd never breathe fresh air again. No, it's good. So I don't know how how interesting this has been for you. You're not gonna leave me with her, are you? You think the nymph was bad? My granny is worse. Whose idea did you think it was to go into those caves in the first place? Well, I'm not standing for it much longer. First chance I'll get, I'm out of here. I'll have to pick up a few things first though, and I suppose you want your reward. Don't tell her what I said though. Come on. Kid, you got a choice. You can stay with her, you? or you can stay with the hogs. But yeah, I don't know how interesting this has been for you. We made uh, it. Go and see if Granny's there. I, I, she's, she's right in front of you. But yeah, uh, I've, I've showed off whatever bits of fighting I've showed off. I might not have showed off all of it. And hopefully it's been entertaining for you. No, if not, then not, I guess. Oh, thank you for returning my grandson, Hero. James, come here and give your granny a hug. Hey, what's going on? I demand you stop right now. I have chores for you. Why are you running away? James, I'm speaking to you! Ah, I've been hearing about you. Let's go. What's in your house? He's a fine hero. Yes, you like me so much that you let me just mm. wander into your house without questioning it at all. So I'm just gonna get whatever I can from the guild, which is hopefully some uh, some things that are going to be pretty useful here. Um, some uh, magic that's going to be pretty useful. That's my Wonderful. We think we can do a special Might as well see what this guy's selling. That's actually quite useful if you buy some armor, but this guy obviously doesn't have any. No, I'm not interested in Well, I know places where I can get what I need, so... No, the arena really isn't the place for me, trust me. But the color skate is the place for me. I can get Trish. Yeah. 
bloodlust. We probably have something. So it will be a fight to the death in the arena. Unfortunately, yes. And unfortunately, if you do fight and you die, then your mission has failed. So uh, you actually have to win every round, whether you like it or not. Which is another thing why, since there's at least seven rounds, I am not going to go there until I'm ready. Right, I want to try to get some spells to more helpful here. This is going to be very helpful. Let's see if I can buy more magic power. That's really no, I have a shield. I can go for physical shield too. I'm going to go for physical shield too. After all, I still have other um, other things I want to get. I do want to increase my uh, strength and my health, if possible. More health is going to be really annoying. Uh, not really annoying. I keep on forgetting words here. Yeah. I think that's probably all I can get for now. I guess you can't get close up view of me here, but let's just look at this zero status. Alignment and renown, pretty much the same. Everything's quite scary looking. Age 36. See, he does age uh, during the game. And there are, there are other physical effects as well. So, yes, I guess that's all there is to say about that. And now I'm just gonna, well, save and uh, end it here. And um, I will see you in the next episode.